This is Mutton Chopping Butchers and I'm doing a video response to Miley Rose Throp. Um, if you're wondering why I've got my hair back for like the first time since year 7, it's because she did this video a while ago and it was basically telling people to be themselves um, and the video responses were people having makeup on and then taking it off um, and showing who they were under all of the makeup which was a really good idea but because I don't have an editing software I just thought I'd start off without makeup, hair tied back for the first time in five years, massive forehead. <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's really important, the project that she's doing, because a lot of people feel pressurised with the media and whatnot to look good, um, and whether people like it or not, or whether I like it or not, this is who I am as a person, and I can't change that whether I wanted to. This is how I look, and... I should feel happy about it, but because of the pressure of people, peer pressure and whatnot, um, it changes your mind. I don't usually wear all that much makeup, but um, the past few months I decided now that I'm getting older and stuff, I feel like I have to wear it a lot more often, even if it's just to school or something, because everyone else does and I don't want to feel like the ugly duckling, <laughs> um, just chilling, looking like death, walking around. Um, and I used to tie my hair up like this all the time. I used to wear clothes, like vest tops with a tie <laughs> and like knee high socks with the leg warmers and whatever stupid stuff that I'd never go out in ever again. But it doesn't mean that I wouldn't want to, it just means that I feel like I get judged a lot and I've started caring more in time about what people think of me and things that people have said in the past, like I've constantly had people going on about how ugly I am or how big my forehead is. <laughs> I have foam spring all over foam spring saying that I was Fodzilla. <laughs> okay, I measured my forehead because I was that paranoid about it and it's exactly the same size as my friend's, so it's all good. Um, but still, I worry about it, which is why I have the fringe covering my face and I refuse to move it. <laughs> but, I don't know, I kind of like this. I can feel the wind in my ears. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm... I couldn't ever go out in public like this again, despite my friends like going out with the head tied back and telling me to. I just think because so many people have made fun of me because of my appearance, no matter what anyone else says, it's always going to stick with me. And especially um, last year and like up until a few months ago, I had no confidence, not a lot. Um, so I just I need to start building myself up again. Even though I probably couldn't go back to the way I first was when I didn't really care about people and how they think. But I think it's wrong because I think people shouldn't really listen to the media and I don't think they should listen to other people's point of views. I think they should just be allowed to be themselves. But unfortunately, that's not how things go and people get judged for anything. Like, I have never touched my eyebrows in my life. Well, I've touched them and <laughs> well, I mean, like I haven't like put them or anything. And I don't... They're just eyebrows. They don't bother me. The the hair right over your eye it just it doesn't bother me but at the same time a lot of people comment on it because they do and they have since they were younger and they think it's weird that I don't but at the same time I don't see the point in it so I don't but I don't know and people are going to start noticing my eyebrows now and realise how bad they are please don't look anyway <laughs> I think it's really important that people pay more attention to what people are like on the inside rather than the outside because there are a lot of people who are really attractive looking and then they turn out to be horrible people um and there are a lot of really nice people who don't even get looking because they may not be the most attractive in some people's eyes but i think that everyone's pretty in their own way or like whatever the male version of pretty is <laughs> but i don't really think society thinks the same so although i wish i could just go out and wear whatever I wanted to and look however I wanted to and not get judged. That's not how things are because of the media and the way they portray everything. And I'm sick of people complaining about the weight and stuff because they look at models and they look at how thin they are and they're just like, oh, I want to lose weight, I'm fat. And then when I say, oh, you're not fat at all, you're just normal, they're like, yeah, but look at you, you're thin, blah, blah, blah. Fast metabolism, it's not my fault. <laughs> and... I'm still unhappy with my weight. I still wish that I was thinner, even though I'm reasonably slim. But only because of, like, what I see on, like, Britain's Next Top Model or whatever. By the example, since there are normal size girls there as well, but most of them are really thin. And you just look at them and you're like, yeah, I want that. But 
it shouldn't really be like that and I think it's bad that people get judged for that but they do and it's just you know we've got to live with it so please 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 let me let me get what I want this time um do a video response <laughs> to Mally Rose Throp's video be yourself um it's really important and I think the word should get out and um, yeah people should really like what she does in her videos because she talks about really good subjects and I think everyone should make one of these video responses showing what they look like without all makeup on and stuff and be themselves for once it's the only chance you're gonna get so thanks for watching sorry I've mumbled on a lot but you know I tend to do that um and I'll see you guys for another video soon so goodbye <laughs>